Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we got some more news coming from the whole YFN Lucci situation. Now, for those of you who don't know, YFN Lucci was indicted in this whole big RICO indictment in Fulton County, which is in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Now, YFN Lucci has been in jail for about three years now, man. And that three years has been a tough three years. Wife and Lucci had several attempts on his life while in jail. I mean, there's an ongoing war between YFN and YSL inside of Fulton County Jail. It's just a lot of crazy things going on, right? Now, there used to be a whole bunch of rumors about YFN Lucci during this last three years where a lot of people thought he would fold. A lot of people thought he would tell. A lot of people thought he would be the very first person to try to cop a plea in this situation and get out the easy way. Well, he didn't take the easy way at all, but he did sign a plea deal. Now, when he signed a plea deal, it was automatically a celebration because it looked like on the surface that YFN Lucci stood tall and got the best deal that he could. And once the news came out about the details of his plea agreement, everybody was wilding. They were actually surprised at how good a deal YFN Lucci got. Now, there's some stipulations, and he's going to have to walk on eggshells for about 10 years there, even after when he's released. But at least he's going to be free. Let's be real about that, right? Well, for those of you who need a refresher or some insight in what exactly I'm talking about, check out this news clip and let's break this down. Now, so Michael, you're the only TV reporter there when he learned he could get out of prison this summer. Yeah, George, and as part of this negotiated plea, prosecutors agreed that they would not oppose his early release from prison. Now, as far as his release goes, he either has to serve a third of his sentence, which his lawyers say could happen in the next three to four months and he could be out performing by summer. All right, so based on what you heard right there, the best case scenario in this situation is YFN Lucci ends up getting only like three or four months left in his prison sentence when he, when he starts his prison sentence. Now, the good thing about it is it looks like according to some stuff that's floating around social media and we're going to get to in a little bit, YFN Lucci has started his prison sentence. So we might be seeing YFN Lucci in the streets in no time soon, man. But based on what they said in the report there, it looks like YFN Lucci is in a situation where as long as he keeps his nose clean, he'll be home before you know it, man. So let's check out a little bit more of this story. First off, um, I want to say my heart goes out to my friend James Adam and his family. With his lawyers by his side, Rayshon Bennett, who raps under the name YFN Lucci, apologized to his friends and family after pleading guilty to one count of violating the Street Gang and Terrorism Prevention Act for his... So you saw YFN Lucci in court right there. And remember that picture. And I'm going to show it later. Remember what he looks like right there, right? YFN Lucci was, was basically apologizing to the court and apologizing to the family of his friend that he lost when the alleged drive-by took place, man. Now, for those of you who are wondering, when did YFN Lucci commit the murder? How did he get the murder charge and whatnot? Well, how come he doesn't have a murder charge anymore? That's not exactly what happened. What happened was YFN Lucci was allegedly riding with his homeboys. They were going to, to get into it with the ops. One of his homeboys jumped out of the car and started shooting, ended up getting shot in the torso, and he ended up passing away as he lied there. You know what I mean? And that was YFN Lucci's murder charge. His real charge and the only account that they could really hold on him in this case was being a part of a gang. You know what I mean? Because there's a gang act there and in Fulton County and Georgia and most states or whatever, right? So he played guilty to that to that act. And I know it seems crazy that he still at the end got a total of 20 years, but regardless, it works out to his benefit just as long as he keeps his nose clean. But let's look at one more clip from the story. Prosecutors accused the rapper of being a member of YFN, a criminal street gang associated with the Bloods. Prosecutors say Bennett was behind the wheel of his Mercedes Maybach, while two of his passengers exchanged gunfire with a group of rival gang members. Then came a sweeping RICO gang indictment against numerous defendants, including Bennett. Just wants to get these three months out of the out of the way, and get to his family, his four children, and importantly, for his many and millions of fans out there back to perform. Okay, so now that we got that news clip out of the way, man, let's talk about some of these new developments that are going on. Now, why if in Lucci? It looks like he's finally made it to prison. Now, why would that be a good thing? This means that YFN Lucci is slowly on the road to being free because even based on the news story you heard, 
Wyatt and Lucci is only going to do about three to four months, and then he's going to be back to his family. Because once again, inside of his plea deal, it was said that the office that indicted him is going to be signing, hey, release him whenever he's eligible for parole first time. So his first time at bat, he's going to be coming home, man. And then he gets to get back to music. He gets to get back to being free. All of that, right? So Wyatt and Lucci finally checked himself into prison, and it's a wild contrast from what we've seen before. So check out this picture right here of Wyatt and Lucci when he was in the courtroom and when you saw him pleading guilty, right? You see the big bushy dreads or twists or locks that he's got there, right? And he's smiling ear from ear because he was obviously, you know, a little nervous and he just signed one of the best deals you could ever sign as far as plea deals is concerned, right? But there's a picture that's leaked online of Wyatt and Lucci actually signing into prison, his very first prison picture. Now I was told, now look at this, look at this, man. Wyatt and Lucci, they shaved his head, and I don't know if that if that's Lucci or not, bro, because this is wild, man. It, it looks so different than the person who was in that other picture, man, especially when you compare the two. Because if you look at this picture and you see the other picture of Wyatt and Lucci from when he was in court, it looks like two totally different people. In this picture, he's got a beard, mustache, gold grill in. Then he's got all these heavy locks or whatever that's been building up for the last three years. And then you look at this picture and it's him allegedly with, I guess, just a shaved head, shaved face, everything. Now, somebody told me that in Georgia, though, when you go to prison, you have to shave your head. You have to shave your face. It's like automatic. So if you had long locks, long dreads or anything and you go to Georgia prison, they're going to shave all your locks off, all of that, man, which is crazy, man. And let me go ahead and blow that up a little bit more for y'all, man. Just so y'all know I ain't lying, and this is why I feel Lucci. Right there, man. You could definitely see his face, and you could definitely see he's not happy about <laughs> having to cut off his hair. But I guess that's just a, a small step in the right direction, because when it comes to this whole YSL, YFN Rico cases and everything that's been going on or they've been allegedly involved in, this has been a long process. But for those people who have been locked up, you can be rest assured that it's been even longer, man. And Wyatt and Lucci, him checking into prison, even though they had to shave his head, shave his face, and he had to, you know, he'll have to grow his hair back out or whatever he was trying to do later. He's that much closer to being free because even based on the news story, he's looking at three to four months, three to four months. ain't. I mean, it, compared to three years, ain't much, man. So all he has to do is stay out of trouble, which is easier said than done, especially in prison. But I'm pretty sure he's got somebody or, that he can lean on and just stay out the way, man. And I'm hoping the best for him, man. But what do y'all think about this extreme look change, man, with Wyatt and Lucci, man? You see him right here in this picture with the, all the shaved and everything, man. It's a wild look. I'm going to say that much, man. Crazy, man. But y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Is this Wyatt and Lucci situation almost done with and is he gonna get a big celebration when he finally comes out of prison in a few months man do you think he'll get that same love that bobby schmurter got do you think he'll get that same love that rowdy rebel got or do you think that you know people who is who are his fans and maybe even the city of atlanta will, will celebrate but for a hole in hip-hop it won't be the same kind of love. I don't know. I think he's going to get a lot of love. A lot of people look at him as a stand-up dude, but I want to hear from y'all. Y'all tell me in the comment section. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace. Oh, yeah. And if you want to check out my last video about the Big Juke situation in Memphis and my other video about Young Dolph and his homies allegedly sliding, go ahead and look at those links below. And we out of here. Peace.